Hey guys, about a week ago I did an unboxing of this ITV DTT Deluxe TV Tuner Micro Stick. The name's a bit of a tongue twister, though I was wanting to show you how you can stream, you can, um, stream TV from your um, Mac to your iPhone or your iPad. Um, you might be able to stream from Windows 7 to your um, iPhone or iPad, though I haven't tried that out, I'm not completely sure about that. Anyhow, I'm now going to open up the ITV software on my Mac here and I will give you a bit of a demonstration. Okay, so as you can see now, I've currently got the news um, channel open, ABC24. Um, I'm just going to open up the ITV preferences. Just need to minimise that. And we have the ITV preferences, and I need to go over to iPhone. Um, and as you can see, there is um, an option here, ITV for iPhone slash iPad. Um, you do have to, however, buy this app. Um, I believe it costed me about $6, um, $6 Australian, which isn't too bad. It would, of course, be better if it was um, free, but it's worth it. Um, so I have currently got this checked, enable access from ITV for iPhone slash iPad, uh, watch live and record a TV, access the program guide and record shows from your iPhone or iPad. What will happen if I click more info? Oh, that would just open the link, I'm not going to worry about that. And there's also another option which I'm not currently using, use my ITV, what's this? Uh, Use my ITV using Elgato's free My ITV service. Your iPhone or iPad can find your Mac running ITV when you are on the road. Um, I'm not sure how safe it is to do, to do this option. Um, I haven't looked into it yet. Um, and I've also um, I'm currently using the ITV um, trial. Um, you get a free um, three month trial. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't really used um, the Ice TV guide much to be honest. Um, though yeah, I'm just going to, oh what's under here, more options, I'll just quickly check. Oh yeah, you can set a couple of other different options, require a passcode, uh, prepare all new recordings for iPhone slash iPad, format iPhone, ITV will, will create a copy of every recording in H.264 format. This is much faster if you own Elgato's Turbo 0.264 HD product. And you can um, select to prepare all existing recordings. So I'm now going to close ITV on my Mac. And I will show it to you on my phone. Just give me a second, I need to get my phone and unlock it. Okay, so I have my mobile here. I'm just going to put it down for a second and give the camera a second to um, adjust its focus. I'm going to go to streaming and as you can see here I have the ITV application which I am going to open up now. And see here what says Mark Fury's iMac and I um, found my computer on the network. It's obviously on the same network at the moment, the same Wi-Fi network as my Mac. Um, and it comes up with a message because I closed ITV. ITV is not um, running on Mark Fury's iMac. Would you like to start ITV now? You can click OK and this will start um, ITV on your computer. Um, as I showed you before, I closed the ITV application and it's now opening on my computer. Um, I, I, I haven't um, played around with all of the settings. Do so I believe there's even a setting where you can remotely rake up your Mac? just to use the TV tuner, which is pretty handy. So for example, I can go to live TV. Uh, I'll just keep it on the news channel because, you know, that's the only channel that comes close to not breaking copyright. Um, so as you can see, I've currently got it um, on my iPhone streaming. Um, it quickly, you know, it takes up the whole screen. It looks pretty nice. And as you saw before, it um, told you what the program was. And you know, it tells you, it's got a bit of a guide here which you can scroll up and down. Which I presume it's currently um, using my Ice TV um, subscription. Though it would also get this um, from the um, TV tuner over the network I imagine. 
uh, recordings, I don't think I have any recordings. Uh, schedules, I don't currently have any schedules and there's the guide. So for example, I can go to, you know, ABC News 24 and it's going to load and tell me what's on and I might go, ooh, foreign correspondent, I really like that, though I'm currently not at my computer. Um, actually, no, no, that's currently on. I might say, ooh, I like Big Ideas, though I'm going to be asleep then at 12 o'clock. So I can click on Big Ideas and, you know, it tells me about the program, um, you know, the time and the date and the TV channel. Um, you know, it's got a bit of a description and it tells you the genre. I believe some of this information is brought up by Ice TV, and I can click on record and now it should be scheduled to record so if I go back I can go to my recordings recording now no library no well it hasn't actually recorded yet though it's scheduled to record oh no it would be under schedule sorry so as you can see it's currently scheduled to record and you know I don't really want to watch that so I can click don't record really delete schedule do you really want to delete this schedule big ideas will not be recorded and I'm going to delete that so um, as you can see it's pretty easy to use I would recommend getting um, the iPhone or iPad application it is definitely the easiest way to um, it's definitely the easiest way you know, to stream, um, you know, to stream TV to your iPhone or iPad if you just get this tuner. You know, I, you know, it, it was a bit expensive. I think, what was it, $150 from memory and it's only got one tuner. Though, you know, it's a good quality product. Um, and, you know, the software makes it worth it. Um, I'm not sure if there is anything else I can really show you. I just wanted to show you, um, you know, how you can um, stream live TV from your computer. Um, you know, I would highly recommend if you're in the market for um, a new TV tuner, you should take a look at, um, you know, Elgato's um, products. They have a few um, different products which work very well with Apple products in particular. Um, you know, they all seem to integrate pretty well with each other. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and thanks for watching.